One of the best things about Linux is the sheer flexibility and level of customization it offers. As well as having a big choice of distros, you can also pick and choose your own desktop elements and pretty much make your own desktop environment from scratch. To inspire your creativity, here are some of our favorite customized desktops made by Linux users, complete with links where you can find all the parts. Hi, this is Phil from Ectokesia, and this is six awesome customized Linux desktops. Linux e is without a doubt the most customizable OS on the planet. Unlike the alternatives where you can customize the desktop experience with wallpaper and maybe a set of icons, on Linux you can replace the whole desktop environment if it doesn't look and function as you'd like. That's why, as you'll see, the following desktops use different desktop environments on various distributions. They're equipped with different apps, wallpapers, icons and docs. Each looks radically different, tailor-made for their owners who truly made them their personal desktop. The common factor between them, they all look fantastic and they can act as an inspiration, nudging you to replicate them or go on your own adventure to construct your own original desktop, unlike any other. No excuse. Reddit user DRob shared his desktop in a Reddit post titled, I have no excuse for this other than that I'm overly nostalgic, as you can see. <laughs> Although it may not be be the heaviest on customization and extras, we admire both his sentiment and his self-deprecating humour. Even the most fanatic Windows hater has to agree that the XP look and its default bliss wallpaper are by now the equivalent of pop art. Here are the details. Here the self-customised boomerang project theme, the font M8 point, all the other boomerang projects themes, and the boomerang project more Windows XP themes fork. All links in the description. Perfect workflow. Shubkarman Singh, I hope I pronounced that right, posted on Reddit what he deems a desktop for perfect workflow. For anyone interested in what that workflow might involve, he uses his PC for programming, gaming, music production and video editing, a multifaceted desktop for and from a multi-talented individual. Here are the details. Shubkam and Singh uses more apps customized for his demands than I can list here. <laughs> Find his dot files with his configurations instead with a visit to the link in the description. He also has all his wallpapers at his GitHub, also link in the description. The program that dominates that uh, screenshot, by the way, is DaVinci Resolve by Blackmagic Design, one of the leading media editing tools on Linux. Very, very, very good piece of software. Minimal and bright. Reddit user u slash said he grew a bit weary of dark convoluted setups and wanted something clean, minimal and bright on a post where he showcased his desktop. Admittedly, a large chunk of customized Linux desktops go for a gloomy and moody look, so it's nice finding such a light concept. Here are the details. The OS is OpenSUSE Tumbleweed with KDE. The theme is Inspiration Light. The icons are by Breeze. The wallpaper is called Pyramids. And the dock is Latte Alignment Right. All the links in the description. Miserable Now. After putting in weeks, Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now was the title of Reddit user Abheath3O's post with a screenshot of his stunning desktop. Reddit usernames are really, really hard to pronounce. A peek at it and it's simple to get how he feels because... What could follow something like this? There's much functionality and information displayed in a slick, neat and compact way while taking advantage of the wallpaper's neon colours for the desktop elements' accents. Here are the details. The OS is Arch Linux, of course it is, with BSPWM and Polybar. The terminal is URXVT. The font is TermSyn and Sigi. The info is Ufetch. The compositor is Pycom. And the wallpaper has no name but there's links to all of that in the description. Mac OS and Miku Reddit user Unio Tredix is a fan of both the anime virtual idol singer Hatsune Miku and the way Mac OS looks, for he's bought both together on his beautiful desktop. Based on KDE, it takes advantage of the effects Plasma allows to enhance its visuals with shadows, transparency, round corners and background blur. Less than a decade ago, we were looking at similar desktops in Hollywood films and chuckling at how they seemed foolishly futuristic. And now here we are. Here are the details. The plasma theme is Mac Mojave. 
The KWN theme is Breeze Away Mod and Shape Corners. The icons are Mojave CT modified. The font is SF Display Pro. The terminal font is Roboto Mono Nerd font. The dock is Latte Dock and some self-made indicators. And the wallpaper is Hatsune Miko. Links to everything in the description. Debian Flames Glorious in its purity, Reddit user Lundo Ed's desktop doesn't have to show much as far as customization goes. A simple cinnamon theme, an ordinary set of icons and a fairly generic fashioned wallpaper. But when those pieces come together, remember how Avatar was the first movie that felt like you were gawking at an alien world through a trans-dimensional window? The colour and shadow combination of all elements invokes a comparable feeling in Londo Ed's desktop, with the wallpaper looking like it's in a different depth, contrasted with the desktop elements, Debian's logo hovering in between, a centre stage but unobtrusive. Here are the details. The OS is Debian, SID, of course, with Cinnamon 4.2.4. And Muffin. The theme is Cinemox Gold Spice and the icons Ubuntu Mono Dark. So, which out of these amazing desktops do you think looks the best? Have you customised your desktop to your liking? And do you have any screenshots to share? Please do so in the comments below. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.